What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. Home Sweet Home Alone is a movie that is coming to Disney+. Plus. We're going to talk about it. Is it good? Let's do it. Max, a mischievous and resourceful young boy, has been left behind while his family is in Japan for the holidays. So when a married couple attempting to retrieve a priceless heirloom sets their sights on the Mercer family's home, it's up to Max to protect it from the trespassers, and he will do whatever it takes to keep them out. And the married couple consists of Ellie Kemper and Rob Delaney. Also, Timothy Simmons plays Rob Delaney's brother in this movie, and oh my god, Maybe the most brilliant casting in a comedy I've ever seen. They even sound similar. It's like the perfect set of brothers. I wish they were in a different movie. You also have Pete Holmes, who I love, Chris Parnell, uh, maybe a couple of people within the cast that you could be surprised by. The main person we have to talk about here is Archie Yates, a.k.a. our hilarious kid from Jojo Rabbit. I Love Archie Yates. A lot of it is based distinctly off of one movie, uh, but he's incredible. He has a lot of charisma for his age, and when he gets the screen time he deserves in this movie, he's cute, he's fun, but unfortunately, instead of the film focusing on what makes the Home Alone franchise run, and that is the kid at the center, this film opts to do something different entirely. Still not sure why they chose to go this route, and because of that, it completely underserves Archie Yates and his role, not only his role, but what he's able to do on camera in this film. He's what had me the most excited, and he is good in the movie, but he doesn't get the screen time. And when he does get the screen time, well, you don't really get a lot of buildup at the beginning. When we finally get to see who Max is and what he does, well, we're already in the midst of the Home Alone ism right the people breaking into the house and you see max have to go and do all of these things but we don't get anything prior to that maybe one or two scenes but the focus is really on ellie kemper's pam rob delaney's jeff uh, brother hunter and their family and i have no clue why the film chose to go this route because their storyline is just not that interesting more importantly it's not going to be that interesting for kids because that is clearly the appeal of this movie. They are trying to appeal solely to children. But even then, like I said in my Clifford review, which was actually, you know, better than I anticipated. Didn't love it, right? But it's a kid's movie that uh, can draw in the entire family. And we've seen countless films like that as of late. But we've also seen plenty of movies over the last couple of years that do the opposite. They somewhat appeal to kids with the premise, right? But then when you watch the movie... It's like they're dumbing down almost everything, and it's such a, a brainless, almost mindless experience at points. And the only thing that would keep the adults engaged in a movie like this is the humor. But boy, oh boy, mm -hmm, does the humor fall flat in this movie. Uh, they do the thing that I hope they wouldn't do. Now, there's no Fortnite dances in this movie, but they use the word lit, and they utilize technology, which it's 2021 and you're doing a Home Alone film. I understand why you did that, but there are so many scenes uh, after, you know, one-third of the film not doing the Home Alone thing. When we finally do the Home Alone thing, there are scenes that try their best to make uh, a hilarious moment out of an adult not knowing what technology is in 2021. An adult, not only an adult, a guy who constantly talks about the cloud and what his job is, his career, kind of based in and around technology, doesn't realize that he has a VR set on his head. What else can we throw in? Uh, uh, Alexa, please. Alexa, don't speak to me. Well, this one's called Homebot, and the two adults breaking into the child's home, because, you know, he's home alone, uh, they don't know what a Homebot is, and they think that the voice coming from the Homebot, yes, it should be simple to assume that the echoing presence of what sounds like God isn't a human, but they don't, they don't recognize that. And again, like, this, the whole... The whole premise of a movie like this is silly, and we have to buy the silliness, but when you establish certain things and you're already not um, uh, appealing enough for me to enjoy, I start breaking down, I start nitpicking, right, the issues that I have with this movie, and they continue to pile up. The biggest issue for me, though, other than not utilizing uh, a just a hilarious kid at the center, was taking 30 minutes to get us into any sort of hijinks that a premise like Home Alone promises, 
And once we're finally there, that's when we get a little bit of Archie Yates, but we keep cutting back outside of that situation. And the Home Alone-isms that I was expecting going into this movie, they're just not really present. And when they are present, it's so silly and ridiculous. Oh, move goal achieved. Having an active day, Austin. It's paid off. <laughs> Speaking of technology, let's go. So you spend the first third of the film, I mean, literally 20 to 30 minutes, trying to get us to care about these two characters that are at the center. It is not uh, his movie. It's the adult's movie. It's it's uh, two genuinely funny and compelling actors. And then their entire motivation behind breaking into this house with this child, and they realize there is a child in there, but it's like, oh, they don't think the child's actually alone, which I hit on earlier, which for some reason makes it okay that they're breaking into the house. And all of this is like, okay, fine. They're unlikable characters. They're breaking into this child's house. They're going through all of this just to get this thing. But the movie spends 30 minutes trying to get us to care about the people breaking into the child's home. The focus of this film, what is, what is it trying to do? or convey, and this is a movie for kids, why do they care about this priceless heirloom? Like, kids watching this, they're going to get 20 to 30 minutes of enjoyment out of a 90-minute film, and all of the other stuff, I just imagine watching it and just completely checking out for two-thirds of the film. And if you can't even hit that target audience, which is clearly the case here, what are you doing? It just goes back to my issue with the dialogue. A ton of exposition, a ton of things that we don't necessarily care about, a lack of focus, and jokes that just come across as trying too hard to be modern without being funny, and montages and silly moments that, again, will provide some laughs for the younger audience, but the rest of the film doesn't do a good enough job of keeping up with that pace. I don't want to be too harsh. I, I know I have been, but uh, it seemed like the cast was having fun. Maybe one or two chuckles in there. Again, a couple of the performances were fun. And before I give you guys my score, I want to say thank you so much for watching. What is your favorite Home Alone film? That's what I need in the comments down below. And if you like this review, drop your thumbs up. Home Sweet Home Alone is a mess. The film lacks any sense of focus. The storyline is completely unauthentic. And the attempts at humor are poorly executed. I'm a huge fan of Archie Yates, but he is never given his opportunity to shine. Ah, uh, what a shame. I'm going a 20% with my score. I held out a bit of optimism. Didn't love the trailer, but I thought, you know what? It's, it's one of those movies that you try your best to turn your brain off and just enjoy. But... Again, it's not a film made for me. Do I think it accomplished what it was doing for who it was made for? Not necessarily, but I need to know your all's thoughts down below. Are you looking forward to this film, and uh, are you watching it when it drops on Disney Plus this Friday? Okay, Disney Plus Day. Hey, we have a lot to cover this weekend. I still need to know down below, would you prefer a live stream from me covering all the new content or individual videos for Disney Plus Day? Okay, guys, I'll see you soon.